for watching this video. Do not wait till January 1st to make your new year resolutions. Don't wait. Start right now. Master manifestors who want to get their game together, put up their routine right now. They're starting right now. They're building up those habits right now. Hello, beautiful beings. Welcome to the channel where we grow glow and expand our soul. And today we're going to talk about how you can start glowing up, shaping up, glow, grow, expand your soul before 2023, before it's too late when it's never too late okay we're gonna get into all of that so let's begin you may be asking why i'm wearing earmuffs inside it's kind of for the aesthetic like it's not cold i'm literally inside but it's for the aesthetic at least i can hear myself better clear the slate for your physical your mental your emotional your spiritual well-being all of that clear that right now for the end of this year in order to bring new energy new positivity new habits new well-built sense of self into the new year because we're not going in with our worries or fears or doubts clear all of that before the year even begins okay so you can be on the right track to do fulfill all your desires do whatever you need to do just by starting right now that's all the point starting right now in this every moment every moment it doesn't matter January 1st or may 4th any random day it doesn't have to be any specific day that we can decide give ourselves permission oh i'm gonna be this way now i'm gonna do this thing now i'm gonna start focusing being consistent with this thing now it doesn't matter what time doesn't matter it doesn't matter what time you do it's the fact that you start now and you build up the habit and the consistency and the discipline to do all these things okay because let me tell you why is it that on january 1st that the gyms are filled up everyone's working hard they're like yeah 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 and then literally in the middle of the year it's empty okay why is it like that why is because people don't have those habits of consistency and discipline and that's what i'm gonna talk about how you can start glowing up before 2023 right now is by building habits of consistency and discipline because no matter what you do no matter how you want your ideal self to what you want your ideal self to accomplish to do to experience to have to become to act like you need the habits of consistency and discipline in order to ingrain those behaviors those new patterns those new new ways of living into your system into your subconscious mind is by being consistent and disciplined with it so let me tell you one day you eat healthy one day you decide to say this nice affirmation one day you decide to work out one day is it really gonna and motivate you to do it if you don't do it every day you're not gonna want it to do it every day and if you don't do it when you don't want to do it you're not gonna want to do it at all <laughs> like that's what i'm saying therefore in order to literally accomplish anything literally all you need to build is habits like consistency and discipline that's same with manifesting to same with reprogram your subconscious mind you need to be consistent you need to be disciplined it's not about time it's never never was about time especially with manifesting especially with anything it's not about time it's gonna say how long it's how much you do it it's not how long you do it for year months a day it's how much you do it for how much how much how much and how how much of that much will be ingrained within you okay for some it can be a lot for some it won't be a little okay so before you even start your glow up okay before 2023 you need to figure out what exactly you want what think about your ideal self and how would they be acting what would they be thinking what would they be doing what would they be saying to other people what would they say about themselves how would their day look like what would they do and obviously you don't even have everything figured out just having a general sense of idea of stuff that you can incorporate right now so if your new year resolutions or were your now resolutions or now ever you're supposed to be improving and glowing growing in every moment so right now right now if you want to be more physically fit more like achieve your desired body there are many different ideas I can give you. You know, again, it doesn't have to be hard. It doesn't have to be lifting weights all the time, okay? It could be, it could involve dancing. It could involve Zumba. So I recommend channels right here. And you can also do Qigong. You can also do yoga, okay? Not no whitewashed yoga, okay? We're doing original authentic yoga names are here yoga with adrian is also chill is also okay i think she's doing great so she's fine if you want to do her videos do pilates pilates is super good like it's super strengthening and pilates is also a super great workout if you don't want to do super heavy lifting training sweating it's how workout is working out is usually promoted as you can make it fun but also other ideas there's so many other ways you can work out and move your body just move make it a habit to move even five minutes a day and seven ten minutes a day just make Make it a habit to move your body because your body the more we sit down the more we just stagnate and rot in our own sitting positions like the more like whatever emotions like energetically that are within us kind of get stuck and blocked so the more you move it out like releasing it. and also 
working out has so many different benefits which like i'm not gonna even talk about because you know it's, it's a lot of benefits to working out like emotionally mentally spiritually like everything is just all connected with moving your body around walking speeding playing we fit is also really good too it doesn't have to be that playing with your chasing your little cousin around me doing jump rope okay basics jump rope is super healthy for you just doing it outside doing it indoors if you can um just walking on the treadmill like put walk on a treadmill and then put on your favorite shows your favorite youtube videos and just watch it and then walk like so many different ways to work out so many ways to just move your body around if you're not able to walk around move your legs apparently if, if you can just do it sitting there are sitting dancings there are da there are dances where you can just sit and move your arms around and move like just move your body in any shape way you can if you can't move your legs if you can't move your arms there has to be a way to move your body and just don't feel limited to doing one specific thing okay so if you want to move your body you have to first of all do something that you know that is achievable it's attainable for you but also stretching out and moving the goal in which you want something you want to achieve but it's not like impossible obviously we can achieve anything we want but for you is it something and make sure it's something that you want to do your like something your workout goals or your body goals is something you want and not something society wants or something they want it's something you want and you can be consistent with it and you can and you can stay motivated to get those goals so first of all yeah make sure your goal whatever your desired body for your glow up or whatever is something that you want and you know that whenever you don't feel like doing working out you don't feel like exercising you don't feel like doing it you think about like your goals and you're like yeah i i am i am that so i'm going to continue to do that and because and not because working out for that it's working out because it makes me feel good because I feel so energized, relieved. It's it's just about that too. It's not just about the body because the body we can in, we can work through also with manifestation affirmations is by embodying that version right now and saying we are that. I have my desired body. I have my desired body. I have my desired body. You just have to be consistent. So having set days doesn't have to be every 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 day. You can have set days, maybe five days a week, three days a week, okay, six days a week where you do certain things, and then which just could be inconsistent and goes along with being consistent, You're building the consistency, the patterns. Okay? Okay, it only takes 21 days to build a habit. Okay, whatever. It could take less for you, honestly. It takes less for me. And then also being disciplined. To me, it's that you exercise when you don't even like it. You affirm in your mind when you don't even want to work out. You exercise when you don't even feel like doing it, which is discipline and okay, now it's time to talk about emotional well-being there are many different ways that we can choose to regulate our emotions right i'm gonna give you some simple ideas which you can choose from and utilize because think about it your ideal self would not suffocate or hold things inside them our ideal self would be able to express themselves clearly their emotions clearly and we were able to regulate themselves whenever some deep trauma or fears or something that is very like very deep rooted within you comes up and they're able to deal with that in a more practical and useful way in which it doesn't involve them pushing those feelings down or uh, going crazy on everybody else right obviously the first one is meditation because meditation really allows you to be present and feel through whatever you're going through in the moment no matter what it is and especially with emotions whatever emotion you're feeling meditation allows you to get quiet quiet the mind and tune into how you feel and then work through those emotions until it dissipates in a way and it has worked and i tried that before too and for meditation you can search up any guided meditation that you like on youtube there are so many different guided meditations that you can listen to for any issue that you may have next is eft tapping eft is like a simple repeating sequence that allows you to address how you feel and tap tap those feelings out wherever they are like here and here like I kind of forget but it's kind of something like this but you tap it out and you say affirmation verbally on how you feel and some people may think it's like the opposite of manifesting because you're saying it out how you feel even though you're not supposed to which not true but basically it helps clearing it out by just addressing it like yeah i feel this way and then you're clearing it out and replacing it with a new stint so for example say i'm feeling sad and disappointed and then you say you tap everything out i'm feeling sad disappointed i'm feeling sad and then you replace it by now i choose to feel happier and more free and then i choose to feel happy more free i choose to feel happier and more free something like that and then you tap it out and i recommend a really great channel that has literally every issue anything that you could possibly have on that channel brad gates he's amazing for eft tapping so like whatever issues you have you can clear away the feelings associated with it and replace it by saying something more positive and if you're not into that journaling is super simple but super effective like who knew a piece of pen and paper 
just by having that you could just clear out literally anything and then burn the paper up do anything rip it up throw it up it's so therapeutic to just write everything out sometimes because sometimes you don't have someone to talk to sometimes we don't want to be like clearing it out like this or sitting quietly and closing our eyes sometimes you want to actually physically write stuff out and therefore journaling is super good for that because you can not only write everything out it really just helps you let like physically let go of whatever you're feeling in the moment and obviously if you like literally are in the feels like intensely just let it all out okay like, we just don't want to suppress our emotions because the more we suppress our emotions the more it will eat us out on the inside it does more harm than good than to suppress everything inside so therefore scream vent cry it out out all that make sure you do it safely don't let those feelings rot and spoil inside you okay now we're going to talk about the mental the mindset for success for the upcoming year for the right now right now right now don't let your old program beliefs and thoughts hold you back from living the best life that you deserve don't let those behaviors patterns rule your life and the best way to mentally reprogram that is through affirmations so repeating certain affirmations because even if you don't believe the affirmations that you're saying the positive ones you will eventually believe them you will eventually believe those affirmations that you are constantly repeating because in your mind throughout the day whenever you think like an opposing thought that contradicts your manifestations that thing that you're trying to manifest just keep keep fighting it keep not keep fighting it let it flow through but then also keep replacing it with your desired thought and just if you keep doing that keep doing that eventually those thoughts are just going to disappear the old ones are going to disappear and the new ones are going to replace that and then it's going to be your natural current thinking state it's literally the best thing you can do for yourself and just start flipping those old negative thoughts that come in your mind throughout the day and then rewriting them with the better and more positive ones you can set timers throughout the day or you can just simply just keep morning and night to be able to repeat those affirmations have a list out write it out every single day or repeat them out loud every single day think them every day anything that you want to do and literally just keep affirming don't let 3d stop you whenever you think a pose just keep thinking over it keep thinking over it like literally it doesn't matter it's literally all in your mind anyway so why not just keep repeating the old like new things new things new things till it impresses your subconscious mind then it just naturally becomes the way you think because your ideal self would be thinking those thoughts regardless right so why not start thinking them in the moment because it's naturally what you will think anyway your ideal self will think they have so much money your ideal self will not be worried about paying for this paying for that they will know they have the money for it and they'll be like eh. like it's just so casual right we're trying to keep it casual and natural to make it impress more easily now you can also visualize use the power of your imagination to rewrite any memory any experience anything any behavior any pattern any version of yourself the super small and vivid scene using all your senses a scene that you can just loop in your mind all day all night all morning anytime anytime you think about it it's just a super vivid scene just as vivid as a memory it could be the first thing that you fall asleep to it could be the first thing you replay in your mind as you wake up just to make it more familiar as if it's already happened now there's many other things that you can start um as a routine to glow up and which is just starting a small skincare routine to make sure to show yourself that you take care of yourself so having a small skin routine like based on cleansing moisturizing sunscreen okay simple thing as simple as that but just showing yourself that you care about yourself because I know a lot of times we can get lazy for things like that, like skincare, lotion, putting lotion on ourselves, and things like really small things like that that we don't recognize that just show ourselves that we don't really care for ourselves. So also doing gua sha for your face every day for your body, gua sha to tone, to elevate, to clear, to. You can also start focusing right now because we're talking about right now to eat a more balanced diet or just affirm that no matter what you eat you're still healthy and flawless and you already have your desired body okay and are healthy no matter what you eat because you can definitely affirm for that but personally i do like eating a more balanced diet but not restricting myself to junk food okay i think it's important to be balanced and also just eating healthy makes me feel good it's kind of it's a habit that i ingrained in myself to consistently eat healthy and eat well because i know it just serves me way much more so that's my habit for you and also um i really recommend before 2023 i'm um, having a habit to limit social media use because generally social media is super draining to constantly scroll and scroll especially on tiktok and youtube shorts okay i'm telling you youtube shorts the first thing when you click on youtube it's literally shorts they really want you to be sucked into scroll to scroll and i've been through those 
the scrolling and scrolling and scrolling it's really endless it's really draining and by the time you get done by the time you finally get yourself off of that it's like the whole day's wasted <laughs> like that's how i feel i really recommend setting timers on your social media or really just limiting it or like doing it like keeping it something that's very yucky like there's some things that you won't do at all because you know it doesn't serve you so make social media one of those things that you just don't want to do like folding your laundry on time like or something like that that's like a habit that's like something you don't want to do you want to keep it on the side social media like that make a social media such an undesirable inde- thing like disgusting thing or like put a timer on it or like a put like a password on it so it makes you not want to do it, it makes you feel lazy to not want to open it up just to use it something like that another thing that you can do before 2023 because i know that people mostly make videos vision board oh yeah you can make vision boards vision boards are something that people do i guess during the month of the new year i think it's beneficial to before because or right now like what i'm trying to say is don't let january 1st the new year limit you from what you can do right now and just being lazy being all that like lazy being like undisciplined and like little and just doing whatever just so you want to wait till january 1st and which is not going to even be consistent most likely which is not going to even benefit you most likely because you might end up still falling back to the same pattern so i'm just saying point of all of this of what i just said the physical mental emotional is to stick with the habits no matter what you choose to do how many how little it's more that you stick with them and not fall into the trap of doing it for the first week first month of the new year and then you just stop and then you stop and then you just don't even go through with it anymore don't let that be you don't let you you fall away from what you want to become right now and what you can be become right now that will not be you okay if you're watching this no you will accomplish anything that you want anything that you desire anyone that you want to become any personality trait you want to be and all it starts is right now just start right now don't wait for the new year sooner you will begin your future self will thank you okay because start right now don't let the idea of the new year make you feel like that you can't start right now you can't start working out right now you can't start building the habits of consistency and discipline right now no matter what you want to do consistently work exercising consistently affirming mentally consistently journeying journaling do whatever you want pick whatever you want but be consistent and disciplined especially when you're wanting to do something new you're wanting to do something that relates to your higher to your best self your higher self your desired self make sure you are consistent and disciplined with it that's really all it takes for anything you want to do anything how to be consistent and disciplined with it okay that's all i want to say okay thank you guys for watching you are enough you deserve the best and i hope to see you soon bye good luck happy new year thank you guys bye